Hello, and thank you so much for dropping by my kitchen. So let's go see what's cooking. Okay, in my kitchen today, I'm going to cook up some butternut squash spirals. Now, if you've never seen these before in the stores, I'm gonna post up a picture up here. That's what they look like. They're ornery looking devils, aren't they? But you don't have to do all that yourself. You can buy them in the store. Right here, I have 11 ounces of spiraled up butternut squash. So I've got some hot water boiling over there with some uh, olive oil and some salt in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump these in here and then we'll get back to the rest of the ingredients later. In goes butternut squash. Now I'm gonna cook this butternut squash until it gets just as tender as it would be if it was spaghetti noodles. So it's gonna take a while to do that. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, now I cooked the spirals over there. They're just hanging out. I cooked them for 15 minutes, so they're, uh, they're pretty tender now. So about 15 minutes is all you need to go. But that's up to you, you can cook them longer, you can cook them uh, not so long. But anyway, the rest of the ingredients that we're gonna use today for the spiral uh, butternut squash is this. We're gonna have some ground turkey, one cup of rough chopped onions, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and a couple of tablespoons of duck fat. Now I'm not gonna use the duck fat until the last portion of the cooking period. So let's get started with this. I'm gonna turn my heat up to medium. And in goes the turkey. Now everybody knows how dry turkey is. So you have to put some seasoning in there to, to get it up to where it palatable. I mean, oh, turkey. It's good, but it's got to be flavored to make it taste good. So, while it's cooking, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some Craig's in here. If I had some steak seasoning, I would I would use that, but I'm just down to using Craig's right now. I'm gonna put my onions in here. And when it cooks up a little bit more, I'm gonna add the garlic. I'm gonna raise my temperature up just a little bit more. Uh, just a bit higher than medium, that should do it. And when you get finished cooking it all up, you can salt and pepper to your taste. I've come to realize that everybody's salt. Some people just like a lot of salt and some people don't. And 
you know how lean turkey can be. Uh, I don't think I'm even gonna have to drain any of the juice off of here because there's just not that much here. It's so lean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put in some garlic. One, put in one, uh, one tablespoon of minced garlic. I need to tell the storekeeper that we need some more minced garlic in the house. It really don't take long to cook this up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper to it. And my duck fat. Is that looking good or what? Oh my. This is so good. Okay. I think all of my ground turkey is browned up. Some of the juices are gone now. All the juices got swallowed up by the by the onions and the, and the garlic. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the spirals to it. There you go. Pretty doggone good taste in there. Butternut squash with ground turkey. But you know what? With this butternut squash recipe like it is, you don't have to use ground turkey. It's fine if you use like 80-20 uh, ground beef or even from ground pork. It doesn't have to be turkey. Either one of them is really, really good. So I hope you try this. I've been waiting a while for the opportunity to uh, cook this up for you. So today is the day.
so good. Now, like I said previously, you can adjust the salt and pepper to your liking, but right now, it tastes really good. Oh yeah. Okay, that's all I got. I hope y'all cook this up. It's really good.